The war of words between Bob Corker and the White House heats up. Just this morning, the Tennessee senator did not hold back when he made it clear that he thinks President Trump has great difficulty telling the truth. Listen. I don't know why he lowers himself uh, to such a low, low standard and debases our country in the way that he does, but he does. And, uh, you know, look, I don't like responding. I, you know, you can let him go unanswered, but... Uh, it's just not me. To, we don't do tweets like that. We've responded twice to, again, untruths. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that our nation finds itself um, in this place. Is the President of the United States a liar? The President uh, has great difficulty with the truth on many issues. Do you regret supporting him in the election? Uh, well, let's just put it this way. I would not do that again. So. You, you wouldn't support him no, again? No way. Uh -huh. no. This morning, Corker said the president should let Congress decide how to pay for his tax cuts, to which Trump fired back in a tweet that the retiring senator, quote, couldn't get elected dog catcher in Tennessee. Today, for the first time since Sonny Melton was laid to rest, we're hearing from his widow about the massacre in Las Vegas that took his life. What kind of person does this? I don't. I don't know if it's really a human being. I mean, it's just pure evil. I don't know what he thought to gain out of what he was doing. Heather Melton's husband was gunned down on the Vegas Strip earlier this month. Sonny grew up in Big Sandy, Tennessee. His death sent shockwaves through the small, close-knit town. Now his wife is working to raise money for both a scholarship fund and a silent auction fundraiser tomorrow in Paris, Tennessee. We have information about that on NewsChannel5.com. How is Heather Melton remembering her husband? News Channel 5's Chris Conti will share more of his emotional interview with Heather and her message of hope tonight right here at 10. A carjacking victim was dodging bullets while trying to find the suspects who stole his car. The victim said he was checking his mail after midnight on Bell Road when he was approached by a gunman. The suspect and at least one other accomplice stole his green Jeep Liberty and took off. That's when the victim took matters into his own hands. He and his friends tracked the suspects to an Antioch gas station two miles away where they confronted the thieves. Moments later, police say the suspects fired shots at them. Fortunately, no one was hit. Police continue their search for that stolen Jeep. Happening now, Metro Police need your help finding a child who hasn't been seen since over the weekend. 12-year-old Javante Staten ran from his mom's car Saturday. Police say he's run away before and is often found in the West Nashville area. Again, take a good look. This is 12-year-old Javante Staten. If you have any information that can help, please call police. Investigators still piecing together details of what may have caused a horrific crash that took the lives of three people. It happened just after noon on I-65 at 8.40 yesterday in Williamson County. Emergency crews said the car flipped and caught fire, killing a woman and two children. No word on why the driver lost control or the identity of the victims. Authorities say child porn charges against a Kentucky teacher led to the eventual arrests of another educator and an assistant police chief. 48-year-old Lucia Jenkins was arrested earlier this month after detectives say child porn was found on her phone. They later charged 36-year-old Jason West with drug trafficking, saying he and Jenkins exchanged messages about drugs. Providence Police Assistant Chief Larry King allegedly failed to report what he knew about Jenkins' behavior, and he faces a misdemeanor. Great weather as fans are gathering for a huge honor for the gambler. Skycam Live looking down on Walk of Fame Park in downtown Nashville right now. The ceremony for Kenny Rogers will begin at 1 o'clock. He'll receive the 80th star on the Walk of Fame. An all-star celebration concert tomorrow will feature live performances by a number of artists, including the Judds, Lionel Richie, and Dolly Parton. Don't want to miss that.